Yeah, I'm not Namie the bongos, Nigerian number one comedy kimping. I de go. You know, I just want to talk about something when I observe for Nigeria, and it's really funny. You know, this holiday we just passed. I noticed him when you know when they bring some of these American, you know, singers and artists to Nigeria to perform. You know, they have a good time. People enjoy their performance. You know, we give them a lot of hospitality, and they go back to America. You know, they tweet about the success of the events, and you see some of those small small Igbo miscreants. They come on that Twitter and they tweet things that are very stupid. You know, like. Do they have mobile phones in Nigeria? Really? Oh my God, I can't believe this. It's, it blew my mind. You know, some of these artists actually know they like come to Nigeria because they just believe we don't have a five-star hotel. And it's, 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 it, it, it bothered me a lot. It bothers me a lot until I visit the Nigerian embassy. Now, I just rest my case. See, let me tell you something. You see, all around the world, every embassy must conform to the status of their country. Yeah. If you visit American embassy, you just know you are in America. You visit Chinese embassy, you just be like, see, you don't date China. If you visit Russia embassy, the same thing. Australia, the same thing, you know. You visit this embassy and you see everywhere is quiet, neat, flat, flat screen, full everywhere, flat screen. And on this screen, you see that they advertise even what they go do 2030. Technologies will never come out, what they go do. You they see bridges where they build like like four bridges, long, long bridges where they build under three hours. Hundred story buildings where they complete under two minutes. You know, you could just like the, the country. You know, what way did they entertain you? Did they entertain you with things where they're familiar with the country? Like for instance, if you enter Russian embassy, they entertain you with things like bullets. Did they give you small pistol? You know, just to entertain you. You don't go to Nigeria embassy once. I swear, once you enter Nigeria embassy, they, they entertain you with changing and hot zobo. And now because they like no day, so they're not on fridge. <laughs> See, Nigeria embassy is eh, a big embarrassment. See, when you enter Nigeria embassy, first of all, we don't get anything like flat screen TV. No, no, no. We get television. Television. Old, old, old television. I know they say that they show better things for the television. I don't know why. Nigeria embassy, the television safe, they, you know they ever declare. How much be DSTV? Mojo gather money as a nation. Mojo buy on a one decoder na. Eh? You go just they wash for Nigeria embassy NTA. They can't see if they see they discourage you to run come for the country. Then go they hungry you. You go they see news like, I'm from away the cash for market. They want almost you know mob justice. Or community clash for land for Nasarawa, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah news. I thought the embassy one day will be said the TV not the work. We call the side say, okay, maybe they give up, maybe they just play movie mode or watch my brother. Now that be our biggest mistake. You know they can't move where they play. Not tell anybody. It's Sakaba. <laughs> my brother, say for Nigeria embassy, eh? If you enter Nigeria embassy, you go fish say nana the sent to be. The sent to be nana the rain. Or the Lisbon scene. Another, you just feel another day ring. My brother. 